Hey guys, <clears throat> just wanted to do this little video here to show you inside BJU Press Heritage Studies 3. So, um, normally I don't do a lot of videos, but I figured I would do this because I'm usually looking on YouTube for stuff like this, so I figured I'd show you. So, the reason I went with BJU was we had done the Abeka second grade and I felt like it was just a little bit dry for us, and that doesn't mean that it's dry. It doesn't mean that uh, the other grades are like that. It just, in that grade, it felt a little dry for us. So I knew that I wanted a change. So I want the, the Heritage Studies grade three. This is the activity manual. So what I would recommend is you wanna look up the precepts or homework by precepts consultants. Just search it on Facebook or BJU. Um, I have a consultant. And I get my discounts through that. So right now, my first order, I did single subject kits. So I think this is like 144 bucks for the whole kit. And it's actually just cheaper this way. So I'd recommend doing the whole kit. Um, and this is the parent led, not the video, but you can, sometimes they'll, they'll let you when, you, when you order this, you'll get a thing with the box and it'll say upgrade to the video for another $100. So basically, if you're um, if you buy the parent-led kit, it's a special that they offer, but it was like this little card, and it said upgrade for 100 bucks. I did that for the math and the English with BJU, and you get your videos, and they send these uh, little papers that are handouts, and then you get like the parent login, and it's really awesome. Maybe I'll do another video of the parent login and what it looks like. But anyways, um, with the consultant, you get 10% off and then free shipping. And then right now it's May, but they had a special in April. And if you go to the homeschool convention or conventions in your area, you get really good deals. But they couldn't have that because of what was happening in the States with the quarantine and everything. So they did this Facebook special with the precepts consultant, homework by precepts consultants. I forget what it's called, but... Um, basically they gave really good deals. So if you did six or more single subject videos, it was 50% off the video. So where like this whole thing would be 300 bucks for the video, it was 150 if you did six or more subjects. So you could do like three Bible, which those are 50 bucks. So those would become 25. And then you could, you know, add a couple, you know, main, main subjects like this. So that's if you want video or it was 25% off books or subject kits or it was 25% uh, off the whole grades so I think I paid like a hundred and five bucks or whatever it came to for grade four because we just ordered this so I hope this helps anyone who's looking for discounts because when I first looked at heritage studies I was like there's no way this is so expensive I'm done anyways moving on what you get is this is the student student text. So you see the size and then you can see how thick it is. And then here is the activity manual. You can see how thick it is. There is what it looks like. I love this part because they have so many good questions. They read a couple pages and they have some questions. And this is really something that I also liked more than a Becca, not, not dissing a Becca because I do love a Becca, but I liked how they had questions like this and little activities after you read, because when my daughter would read the Abeka second grade, um, I, I wouldn't really know if she actually retained anything and I would, you know, ask questions and it just felt like I was creating work. And when you're spending that kind of money, you shouldn't have to feel like you're creating questions and uh, just, it just wasn't for us. So I like how someone's already done the work for me when it comes to the science and the heritage studies. So anyways, I'm going to have other videos. So check out that other, other videos too, because you might find them helpful. Anyways, this right here is just an example, but you get the activity manual, which is their worksheets. You get the answers, the answer key for you to look at and see the answers. And then you get the textbook for the child. I'll do more in depth. And then you get the teacher's edition. 
Um, one thing I really like about the teacher's editions, well, first of all, you get a CD-ROM, so there's way more resources back there. I love that they're color inside. I love that they tell you exactly what to ask. See right here. I love all of this. You really, you don't have to do the videos because you you have so much to choose from when you're teaching your little one. Uh, and you don't have to ask all these questions. It's really, it's not necessary if you don't want to do it. But it's just extra information. And look, it'll say in the teacher's toolkit right there, Visual 11, the Star Spangled Banner, Sticky Notes, Vocabulary, James Madison, lists several reasons for the War of 1812, it tells you where the student text, activity manual pages. Um, but yeah, and um, another thing that I like about BJU is it doesn't feel dry with the way they're teaching. Um, you, you know, I just sat there and read through this and I would compare this similar to the master books. Um, with master books, I'll just show you real brief. I got a uh, let's see um, right there. Anyways, I'm sure there's better videos out there where people have it all planned out, <laughs> but I don't have that kind of time. So I like the the master books, America Story. This is like fifty bucks, maybe seventy max. I don't know if it's on sale right now or not, but. I think I paid 50, but this tells like a nice story. And so BJU is similar. It's similar. It's a little more condensed with BJU because this is for third to eighth grade, I believe. And so this is just for third grade. So this is going to be a little bit less, but it still kind of tells like a story. I would say master books tells way more like a story, but this was so similar that I was like, you know what, we're just going to go with BJU. And um, the other thing that I liked more, uh, and I, I still am going to be buying master books, so nothing is stopping that. But um, we're just going to do that more like, more like as a family, just reading it together. I don't even know if I'm going to use this very much, but they have this. It's got weekly lesson schedule, student activity sheets, reviews, and answer keys. So... Um, you'll see different things back here. I honestly haven't done this, so I can't, I've only read a little bit, so I can't really give a, a review per se. Um, why am I reviewing this? I need to stop reviewing this. I'm not doing this right now. Anyways, I'll just compare this real quick. I didn't feel like the questions were as much as with the BJU, and that's kind of what I was looking for. This is more of just like straight questions, and they just kind of write in the answers, and like I said, I haven't done it all. It's just from what I'm seeing. I I really like master books, but I, I just liked how the uh, BJU had more specific questions laid out. You know, multiple choice. Um, so, you see here, circle the cow if the statement is about a farm, circle the fire truck if the statement is about a city. And, um, let's see here. So just an example of some of the questions. I, I just like it when people show the inside, so I figured I would do this because I don't actually stick to one whole curriculum for a grade. I actually do different subjects with different curriculums. So I know I really like CLE, Christian Light Education. I love it. And they are a little bit cheaper, but if you do the math, it, I've bought all this. It, this was expensive, but the next time I'm teaching my other children, all I have to do is buy this workbook. I already own this. I already own this. I already own this. So I think this is like 25, 30 bucks, maybe 35. So the next go around is $35 for my next child. Um, but there's other curriculums that they're consumables and the whole thing is consumable. So, I mean, it's kind of just it's just kind of preference, but anyways, 
I like how there's so many good questions. They read a couple pages. So, see this right here. Lesson 42, pages 128 to 131. And then there's a crossword puzzle. So you know exactly, you know, you know exactly what homework you have and how many pages you read and what activity sheet goes for what. But anyways, um, like I said, here's the activity manual. It's not a teacher's guide. It's just an answer key. Um, here's the kiddos book. I'll just kind of do a quick flip through. It's not going to be perfect, but... Another thing that I really love about BJU Press is everything talks about God. <clears throat> Abeka, not so much. And the reason I keep mentioning Abeka <clears throat> is because I was kind of comparing these two to be somewhat similar in certain ways. And they are kind of pricey in my opinion. These are, you know, pretty expensive books, but I, I think they're great. Um, but yeah, they talk a lot about God. Um, Everything kind of just revolves around them and just um, just kind of even, you know, things to hit the heartstrings of just like, you know, mentioning something in history and it's like, you know, that really wasn't nice and that's not how they should have treated those people and that's not how God wants us to treat people. And so I love that it's, this is definitely not public school curriculum. It's, it's taking every opportunity to teach them about the Lord. So I really like that. Yeah, it's really great. So I'll just show you the teacher's guide here. So there's that. And then the teacher's the teacher's CDs right back here. I really haven't dug much into it. Um, I will say if you do video led, they have a ton of stuff for teachers resources. And you can of course see samples on their website too. And I have not finished this, so I can't, I can't, you know, I don't know everything about it, but I, I mean, I have a decent idea. There's a ton of information. If there's anything you need, you can find it in here. And the, the, the CD, you know, it's gonna have a lot more information. Activity manual, answer key, teaching visuals, Maps, charts, additional background information, instructional age, aids. So it has the manual answer key. That's cool. So technically, you could just buy this book and that. You know, I still think you're cheaper off getting the um, the whole kit. But whatever works. Journey Fourth books. Yeah, we got a couple of those. Okay, so this is the lesson plan overview. So you'll see, you know, lesson two, this is what page is gonna be in your teacher's edition, and then the student text is gonna be these pages. Activity manual, page three. Challenges explain the differences between the modern conception and the pilgrim's conception of religious liberty. Explain the challenges the pilgrims faced in Plymouth. Name the laws the pilgrim leaders wrote for the government of Plymouth. Assess the significance of the Mayflower Compact. So anyways, you see here, presidents and precedents, Jefferson and moving west, War of 1812, National Growth, Andrew Jackson and American Democracy, United States spreads west, growth in the east, nation dividing, civil war. So this is just what like one lesson looks like. You see the, the student's textbook right here. And so I like doing this side by side with my daughter. It's actually really nice for us to have this time together. And it means a lot for her, to her for me to be with her while she's doing her homeschooling and she focuses a little bit better. So we just sit side by side and kind of just tag team reading together. And then once we kind of finish a couple pages, I'll stop and I'll, I'll read a little bit of here 
and she knows I'm reading from it, it'll be like, tell the students blah, blah, blah. And I'll repeat that out loud so she knows that I'm not. This is definitely, I think, designed for a classroom. Um, and I know even the private school here in my area, I think one of the subjects, they actually use BJU Press. But anyways, this is the chapter one overview. Um, the nice thing is you don't have to feel like you know everything because this teacher's guide tells you everything to say. So here we have some books. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know that, that you can get these through, their, I guess, their website because I just ordered some. Oh, good to know. Um, so the student text pages two to six. Da -da -da -da. Come down here. And then it has questions, direct attention to the chapter title. What does this tell you about the chapter? Is it about the being in America? Direct attention to the chapter focus. Okay. It's going to be a long video. Um, Europeans in trade. This is just a pretty detailed flip through. It, it's not a flip through in the sense of seeing everything on the page or on all the pages. It's but it's more of like really getting an inside look if you buy the subject kit. So let's just say that you didn't get in your order during the, the special that they have. No no problem. Just look up the homeworks by precepts consultant and you can also I think the way it's supposed to go is you're supposed to find someone for your area and it's, you know, 10% off orders and free shipping and they will also find ways to try and save you money. So I really recommend it. Also, they offered me, I, th I think it's called the, is it the AC LJ? What's it called? It's a, it's a membership I bought. It's the like homeschool attorneys. So basically if you ever have any kind of an issue you just contact them, whether it's something with your county or the state or the school. I don't know what it could be, but if you ever have issues with your homeschooling, you just get a membership, uh, preferably beforehand. I don't think they, I don't know how it works, but um, I think it was like 100 or 200 bucks or so, I don't know what it was, but they have like a lifetime membership. I think it's a thousand bucks. So if you think you're gonna be homeschooling for many years, it might just be worth it to do the thousand dollar. But anyways, this is this is a, a good little idea so you have an idea of what it looks like on the inside. Uh, then I'm gonna take you to the back here. Okay. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to get to the page here. Okay, there's the last lesson. Appendix, Bible Action Truths, okay, anyways, explain the gospel, Bible promises, Very cool. Obviously, I haven't looked back here before. I'm just trying to do this video so people get a good idea of what they're buying if they decide to go for this, but um, I really like it. And in case anyone's wondering, um, what we have so far is my daughter's finis finishing some math you see, and then she also has um, the CLE math that she was finishing from the other grade. And then we have the BJU math for third grade. And then we do the English with BJU. And then um, we have ACE paces that are just more for like going in the car. Those are just very easy and like no work for the parent. I mean, except for just grading. So this is gonna be a little bit more involved. If you're not wanting to be as involved or if you don't want a bunch of prep work, I mean, you might, I guess it depends on if your little one can sit there and do all this work by themselves, but I'd say this is more of an involved curriculum. 
if you want open and go and very minimal prep work, a lot of my friends like unit studies. Um, there's this one called Gather Around Homeschool. There's Good and the Beautiful that my friends like that are more unit studies. And then I just think Ace Paces is the easiest if you're looking for the least amount of sitting there and doing everything with your child. But anyways, not knocking that at all. I like it. Here's how I keep it organized. I just do this. Another option is you do a binder and you put each kid's, um, let me see here. You put each kid's, uh, so this is what we did for Rebecca. Um, so you got a couple different options. I spent 150 bucks and I got this really nice three hole punch. So this is my daughter's, um, my little kindergartner. So we have just these different tabs. So this is her numbers and scales, and we just do, you know, take out a page for each, um, for each, uh, you know, subject. So you would, you know, flip to the next one, and then here's your writing with phonics and cursive. Flip here, the writing tablet, cursive. So anyways, this is an option that you could do with, if you do a bunch of subjects with like BJU and you've got the, the printouts, um, I like the Exceed folders and Avery. Those are just so high quality. I like how you can put the cover of something in here if you need to. They just give me the least amount of problems. But this is how we decided to do it for her. We put everything in something similar to this. Um, I got those off Ikea. But basically, um, we keep this here and then I, I do a whole chapter and then at the very end I put a test. So she just grabs this notebook whenever she wants to, you know, answer questions. So there's the last lesson from her activities manual and she has her chapter review. And then, see there's her. Oh, and they have uh, something about them that makes them a little bit very cool in my opinion. Um, with the other ones, the other subjects, they have, basically you can do the chapter review and then there's, I think another one and that could become an option for a test. I don't know, I think some people use the, I need to look back. Actually, I need to look here. I, I, I know that I did this with English because my daughter didn't get as good of a grade as we had thought. Mm, it might not be the same. It might be like a little bit different for English. I'll look it up, but basically with, it might not be the same with this one, but with English, they give you extra practice worksheets and you have like, I'm pretty sure two chapter reviews. You have like the regular chapter review in the workbook. And then I think the teacher's guide offers another chapter review. So if your little one doesn't get something quite, you know, right away, you can have another option as a backup. But anyways, this is the chapter review here. And um, so I always put this all at the end with the test. So then when we're done, there's the test. And then she would take the test and then we're done. So then I, I could just, you know, un, un, open it up there and then pull that out. And then she would have a second chapter. But I, I put two in here at a time or sometimes three, just in case I'm busy and I don't have time to take it out. But I give her the option to have it in here if she needs it. But this, we really haven't done much of this, as you can see. We've done more of the other stuff. But um, so you can just see here, this is a nice way to store it. And I like using the five star, the mead with these because they just, they're so high quality and they're thick. So anyways, I hope this has helped trying to, Give you an idea of what you're looking at if you decide to go with this and i'm going to post more videos i'm going to try to post lots of videos of a lot of different curriculums that i use anyways have a good one Bye bye